I am here to talk about a drug that's sweeping America at the moment, and that is ecstasy. Ecstasy has many side effects. Ecstasy causes a feeling of well-being, it can increase confidence, but it has many negative side effects as well. Ecstasy causes nausea, a sense of loss of balance. Because ecstasy increase, makes the user feel happy, it uses dopamine, but the body makes its own dopamine. So when you use ecstasy, the body will stop making its own dopamine, and that causes the person to become depressed. Ecstasy leads to increased body temperature, which can lead to death. Ecstasy has also been responsible for several heart attacks in users and brain hemorrhages. Higher doses of ecstasy causes the user to feel floating sensations, increased blood pressure, increased heart rate, and hallucinations in some cases. It also causes the user to act out of his natural self, which leads to bizarre and irrational behavior. Ecstasy can lead to convulsions. It is possible to overdose on ecstasy and cause the user to die. When coming down from the drug ecstasy, the user will feel several other side effects, including physical exhaustion, the inability to concentrate, depression, paranoia, and anxiety. The solution to this problem is having after school programs that give teens the ability to understand what is so dangerous about ecstasy. Most teens take the drug because they don't know what will really happen to them. They don't understand the side effects or the dangers of taking it. If someone or some program was to explain to them the dangers of the actual drug they're about to take, there would be much less users of the ecstasy. Hey guys, Trace here for D News. Once people pass their peak, some will hit more and more to maintain that high. After the flood of chemicals abate, your serotonin receptors are just whew, worn out. This is manifested by a depressed mood and extreme fatigue, often a day or two later. Outside of the brain, the chemicals cause the rest of your body to go into overdrive, causing high blood pressure and body temperature or hyperthermia, which can then also cause kidney and liver failure.